Good morning. It's going here. A bit better. Good. We'll wait for folks to hop on and see who's with us this morning. We're going to make this pretty card. Good morning. I cased it from the catalog on this beautiful uh, Merry Moments, Merriest Moments. Hi, Patty. Good morning. Hi, Judith. Good morning, Mary. This card is beautiful. I just had a, um, I just called Stampin' Up, and now they just called me back, so I'm afraid that maybe, oh, this is gorgeous, Patty. It's so pretty. The colors are light and beautiful, and um, this is Flirty Flamingo. Hi, Kelly. I stamped it off. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I just called Stampin' Up because we are having something called a seasonal sale from the 16th to the 18th of November. So this comes around every year, and um, uh, what it is, is it's a great discount. Hi, Lisa, good morning. Oh, you love the colors? Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Mary. Um, so with this sale, if you are, I just called, okay? If you're a demonstrator, of course, now I, I, I typed all this out, or um, I just did a copy and paste, okay? The promotion period's from the 16th to the 18th. You gotta get ready for this. Hi, Donna. Um, and the discount includes 10% off of cardstock, 15% off of ink, um, that inc excluding the ink pad bundles and whatever that means, third party ink pads, okay? Um, hi, Carol. Oh, you might be new to watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. What a great day. Okay, so, and then 20% um, off of the dies. So, I did a little thing. I, I'm at, uh, hi, Jean. I did, uh, I'm at 25%. So, I let's say that I want to purchase like $100 worth of uh, basic white cardstock, okay? I'm going to get my 25% plus my 10%, and it takes me, because I'm at 25%, down, I figured it out, to $5.48 a pack. And there's 40 sheets, okay? So, hi, Jean. Um, th this is, um, this is a, a great deal coming up. It's from the 16th to the 18th. My one question was, because we have the starter kit on sale right now, if you want to join my team, it's $75. You get $125 worth of product to pick from. You can pick anything you want. My question was, hi, Diana, is if they join between the 16th and the 18th, does the sale apply to the starter kit or is that like, you know, double dipping? So what she said to me uh, at the time was, um, we, you, the system won't let you do that. They're going to give you a discount on the starter kit, $75. But then on your very next order, which could be, you know, in the same day, it just has to be the next order, you can go ahead and take, uh, take advantage of if you sign up between the 18th, 16th and the 18th, okay? Uh, you can go ahead and take advantage of these discounts then on your second order. Now, right before I got on here, um, I was actually all hooked up and they called me back. So I, if I'm thinking that the information she gave me was correct on that, I'm hoping it is. Uh, if it's not, of course, on Sunday, we'll talk about it then. I, I've already sent out an email about this. Uh, you will want to sign up for my email. So after we get off of here, there will be a list and you can sign up with that. Uh, so I'm excited about this, but I'm a little bit um, I'm like this and like that about what's going to happen if you sign up to be on my team be between the 16th and the 18th. Does the discount apply to your next order or does it apply to the starter kit? So th those were my questions. I think she answered it well that w it was on the second order, but where she just called me back, I'm wondering if there's a difference. So um, I'll announce that on Sunday, okay? 
we have plenty of time, all right? So yesterday we made this card. Isn't that pretty? And I'm using the Merriest Moments this week. And this is with, uh, hi Cheryl. This is with the um, uh, 3D hybrid embossing folder, beautiful. But we're not gonna use this today. We're just using the dies and the stamps. So, and like I said, I case this from the catalog. Now, if you place an order with me, I will send you two free card kits right here, two free card kits and a calendar, okay? If your order is $35 <clears throat> in product, you're going to get the two free card kits, the calendar, and a video PDF, good morning, Gloria, to make these 3D projects. This is what I'm offering this month, it's free. This is my month between November and December, I give back a lot. So this is a free video PDF. There are these three boxes, the little post-it note holder, cute, right? Um, the little candy with the pull out. Hi, Beth, this is the first time watching, thank you right there okay and then we have this is so cute with the hand sani i always say this hand sanitizer was bought at the dollar tree it's the two ounce size it's skinnier than the one from walmart i'll tell you that guys okay and it fits in here quite well or you could use this as candy okay right there so that's cute okay and then the little bag here and um, I even decorated the inside. The video is about two and a half hours because I craft everything with you, okay? Now, what let me tell you what happened yesterday. I had somebody um, <clears throat> email and say, I'm a demonstrator. You know, of course, she's not gonna put an order in with me because she's a demonstrator. Um, she wanted to just purchase the video PDF. So um, I will do that now. I didn't even think about that. I appreciate, I appreciate the thought. Um, so if you do not want to purchase from me, uh, because you know, of, of other things, you know, if you're a demonstrator or you're, you know, uh, you just want the video PDF, you know, you don't have to purchase product. I will definitely, um, be happy to sell you my video PDF. It's $15 and you can just, um, email me at Joanne Maddie at outlook.com. I'll send you a PayPal invoice and I'll shoot you the video and PDF right away. So um, I, I appreciate uh, someone asking me about that yesterday. But look at these calendars. When you place an order with me, do you not love these? I make these every year for everybody. I started in November because I got so busy last year. So uh, then with a $35 order, you get that. With a $50 order this week, you will receive all of this, the video PDF, and a pack of matte black dots. You can use these all the time. I have already gone through, uh, I think I'm on my third pack of these, you know, so yeah, when you're just using three at a time, you know, there's a lot in here, uh, but you will receive the matte black dots with a $50 order, okay? So there's that for this week. Isn't that wonderful? We're busy here. Aren't these cute? They're coming out so cute. So these are the 2022 calendars. I like that. All right. Now, of course, my team gets that. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. I, I love my calendar you made. Oh, wonderful, Cheryl. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been starting to send them out <clears throat> with orders and everything because, um, hi, Sherry, because I get so busy and I am a one-man band over here, okay? And so uh, I need the time. It's time, you know? So I thought this year I would start in November sending them. I also have my little mini class here with uh, our beautiful Eden's Garden. And good morning, Lily. Sneak a listen. I love you, Lily. Lily's on my team. She's been with me ever since I started when, I mean, honest to God, guys, I couldn't do anything for anybody. Lily had faith in me. Hi, Jean. Thank you for sharing. Um, so, yes, uh, I really appreciate that. So here is one of the cards. Look at how this opens. So this is a mini class. Because I did the Christmas mega class, I decided to flip it and do a mini class. Isn't that pretty? And um, so there's three cards. You'll get enough material for two, uh, to make two of each card. But it's a quarter of a pack of um, the DSP, the Eden's Garden DSP. It's a half a pack of gems, and it's just three cards. And hi, Beverly, uh, right here, and a video PDF. It's just $25, and the video PDF for this is just $10. 
And right here are those, okay? So, like I said, it's my month. Between now and December, I give back. And um, so I reduce prices. I, uh, you know, just uh, make things a little bit easier for everyone. So, yeah, we just have a good time crafting, right? How long do we have to sign up for Eden uh, class? Uh, let me see. When am I cutting that off? Um, da -da 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 -da. It closes on the 15th, Beverly. And um, hi, Ramona. And remember, Beverly, because you're on my team, um, please use the discount code, okay? Um, please use the discount code. It's T-E-A-M, capital letters, team, okay? <laughs> it's not hard and so, because I have to remember everything, right? Uh, oh, you're, I know, right? Lily's so special. I know, right? She is so cool. I know, and she's like one of the coolest young people I've ever met. I know, so I'm a sneaky listen while at work. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Lily. She said, um, I'll tell you what, guys. I look back at some of my videos, and I don't even know how you guys even watched me. Okay, <laughs> so I seriously, when I tell you I appreciate you hanging in here with me, I really do because I look at stuff. I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know, <laughs> so... Yes, yeah, so my team always gets the video and PDF for every class that I do for free, okay? And so they're going to get the video PDF for this for free. Then if they want to go ahead and order the product through me, I discount them the video PDF. So another great reason to join my team. Okay, so, <laughs> so. now this card... Um, I'm 50 years, see? Yeah, I know, but Lily, I'm 63. I was 13 when you were born. I was already a teenager. That's funny. Um, so this card is cased from the catalog. Just so pretty. I rarely case things, but this caught my eye because I love poinsettias. Poinsettias are like some of my very favorite. Uh, and I, you could just do so much with them. It also, hi, Anita. I think your first time watching. Thank you so much. Um, so um, this is, can you believe it? Flirty Flamingo stamped off. So saffron and um, petal pink. We're gonna use a little uh, soft succulent and pear pizzazz and crumb cake. We have a lot of ink, one, two, three, four, six colors we're gonna use. Hi, Marcia. I'm all excited about this card because it's so pretty. Okay, and let me get my mat and the paper here. And we'll do a little bit of stamping first, okay? Um, <clears throat> so the base of the card, let's talk about that, is a pear pizzazz, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I used a, a scalloped a contour die for the middle of the card, just to add a little pizzazz to it. Let's move this off to the side and let's get our stamping done on this. We're gonna use a little flirty flamingo. Can you believe flirty flamingo? What these colors could you use this card after, yes, definitely, Lisa. Absolutely, definitely, you could use this after the holidays with these colors. I totally agree. And, uh, you know, I, I rarely case, and I should case from the catalog. They have so many great ideas. And, of course, being a demonstrator, they give us what's called a recipe. So if you uh, go to the print lab, uh, scroll down a little bit. I think it's kind of in the middle column. You will find... Um, what something, or no, I think it's to the left, to the left, it's a column to the left. It'll say recipes for this catalog and they tell you every color, they tell you everything that they use and it so helps you, you know. Um, but I had fun, I had so much fun making this card. So let's use Season's Greetings in Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just going to stamp that right up here, right there. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little sprig here. We're going to use this a lot. You're 50, you don't look... I know, right? She doesn't. She, I, I, if you all knew Lily, she looks like she's, I don't know, like, what, about 25? Uh, you know, yeah. So here I'm going to use a little pear pizzazz. Yes, she is. She has a very youthful look. Maybe that's from living on the farm, you know, because she, well, she, on the farm, she has a ranch. So, um, good, clean living, right? So, we're going to put this in the center right here. That's nice. Yes, I'm practically a child. I, <laughs> I love it, Lily. 
Okay, so we're gonna put this right here in the center. Right there, wonderful. Right there, okay, now. Now we will work on the on the front here. We're gonna use um, a piece of basic white. And let's see, this is five and a half by two. That's all that this is, five and a half by two. And I'm going to use, um, I forgot to get my sentiments out. Together is the merriest place to be. I think they might've used a different sentiment in the card uh, in the catalog, uh, but I, I love this together part is the merriest place to be in crumb cake. We're going to do this in crumb cake. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my little sprig right here. I got to clean it because I'm going to go into the soft succulent now. And I'm going to make a little sprig right here because eventually we're gonna kind of attach a um, poinsettia to it. I'm gonna put it in the center, centering it over here, centering it this way and that way, sideways and top and bottom. Just like that. Now we're gonna move this to the side along with our base. And now we're gonna bring in some scrap paper and I'm gonna stamp two of these in soft succulent because we're gonna cut these out. I love the dies that they have provided with like everything, everything in here has a die. Well, of course, except the sentiments and the splatter. Even this little thing has a die in here. So I think that's wonderful. <laughs> I know, right? Um, okay, so now we're gonna stamp some flowers, okay? So I have some scrap right here, just pieces. I think I'm done with this, yes, okay. And now I'm going to stamp, we're gonna do some flirty flamingo. And what the directions called for was to take your flirty flamingo and stamp it off. See, because it's pretty bright and they wanted pink. So I'm gonna stamp this right up here. Pretty. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the smaller poinsettia, stamp it off and stamp it on. Okay, we're gonna, um, then uh, the little middle right there, our little, um, dots for the middle of our poinsettia is in crumb cake and you're going to stamp the smallest one right here just like that okay let me clean these two I have my chamois over here just to the side get that nice and cleaned for us I always kind of when I do something like this I stamp I kind of go like that to make sure that they're dry. Okay, now we want to do one in So Saffron. Oh, I love having all of this ink opened because I know I could make like the biggest mistake right now and just stick this into the wrong color, right? <laughs> How pretty. Look at So Saffron. So pretty. Here's that. And now some crumb cake. And now we're going to go into, I'm going to clean these again. Move this out of the way, okay. There we go. And now I'm gonna go into Petal Pink. And we're gonna make pretty poinsettias. Petal Pink is very light, but it shows up quite well. Hi, Lynn. But it shows up quite well um, when you put it with something, like the So Saffron. Again, the crumb cake into the littlest poinsettia right there. Okay. Wonderful. We're going to cut those out in just a moment. Let's bring in our card base. Now, <clears throat> what they did here, this is so ingenious. I love it. What they did is they kind of split the difference and don't worry about what it looks like in the middle. Hi, Diana, because this might be a mess. Okay. Remember, we're going to cover it up. Okay. Hi, Sue. So let's go ahead and take our fern you know what? Uh, because the only thing left is pear pizzazz, and you guys know me. Okay, good morning. Ink could go everywhere. Okay, uh, let's see. I just need pear pizzazz, and before we do this, let's do the envelope, okay, so that we have it completed. 
And I'm gonna do our little sprig in pear pizzazz in the front, just like that. Our little sprig right there. Slow at work, that's nice. Good morning, Marilyn. And then I'm gonna clean it. And I'm going to place it back here with soft succulent. Just so that we have both the colors that are on the card on the envelope, that's all. Okay, let's bring this in. In. Okay, now I can close this. See where there's a method to my madness. I could close the soft succulent and get that out of the way. Okay, so now we're just going to work with the pear pizzazz right over here. Hi, Carrie. And so we're going to take this fern right here, and you don't want the top of the fern to come off of the card. So let's go ahead and do the top first. So you can go off either side, but let the tips stay on the card, okay? So I've got a nice crease there. And I'm gonna come over here and watch my tips are gonna stay right there. Good morning, oh, you're fine, Carrie. Always watch the replay. You are fine. Now I'm gonna stagger these guys and it's okay if they overlap. So I'm gonna go up and down, you know, but always the tips do not come off, okay? Here. And I'm gonna bring this one a little bit lower this one higher and just come across through here like this I just love this what a great idea you know you learn so much when you case you know because I would have never thought to do this absolutely never never ever in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought to do this so on a card okay now I'm turning it upside down remember don't worry about that watch Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Pam. Okay, let's go right here. And now again, you put your, um, I'm going to open this up because I want to make sure that I don't get any ink on the other side, on the inside, okay? Just in case I wasn't lined up. So I'm going to start over here. And remember, the tip, it's so easy to want to stamp off of it. Hi, Robin. But um, it's so absolutely easy to want to do that. But you don't. You want the tips to stay on. Okay, so let me go right here. It's okay to come off either side, but not on the top and bottom of this card. Okay, and then we're gonna stagger, and we're not gonna worry about, ooh, I almost did it. I keep wanting to. Ooh, gotta refrain, have some control. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Penny. I think you're new to my channel. Thank you for watching this morning. I appreciate it. And let me just tell you, to all you new people, okay, um, you'll get used to me. Uh, sometimes things happen here that it's like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, but it does. And, oh, you are fine. Overslept. It's 820 here in Arizona. Wow. Yeah, we, I am so messed up with the time. I shot an email out. I was up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is a great idea, Lisa, right? So don't worry about that mess, okay? But don't let your tip come off of the of your card and stagger is what i learned okay just like that oh i love it it's perfect okay yeah that that um thank you for all the prayer surgery oh yay marilyn great he's waiting to be dismissed oh love you okay so we're a wonderful family here of crafting friends even though we are scattered out throughout the United States. In fact, my, down, my upline calls us scattered stampers, okay, because we're all over the place. But, um, yes, when we know that somebody uh, needs prayers, I'm telling you, this, this little group is on it, is on it. Now we're going to put this right here. I'm so glad he's okay and ready to be dismissed. That's wonderful. We're going to cover up our mess right here. And that just makes that card seriously, right? I'm gonna put this down with just some Tombow and then we're gonna cut our poinsettias out and have fun with those. Just a little Tombow here and here. And just in the center there. There we go. Oh, 
came out so pretty, right guys? Look at that, and inside, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, now is the time. Take a look at your sides here. If you have any part of that um, basic white hanging over, go ahead and trim it. We're good for this one. I think I had to trim the other one though. Okay, now look, I'm closing ink, right? Isn't that wonderful? Okay, good. Now, bring in the mini, and let's start to cut out our beautiful greenery here. I did this in soft succulent, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape, a little washi tape, I always tape it down. It is, Pam, it's just a really pretty card. I, um, I, like I said, I cased it. I cased it from the catalog of on this uh, Merry Moments. So we're just gonna cut all these little things out right now. The card yesterday was very traditional, red and green. And then today, I've done this and all these beautiful, I would have never done this. If I didn't case this, I would have never, ever, ever done this card. I'd have never thought of it. I'd have never thought of using these colors. And you know what I've realized is that when I case things from that catalog, I learn a lot. So there's two. And let's get our poinsettias in here. And we'll just do the little one here. Now this, you kind of got to, you know, move it around to find where it fits. Just find exactly where it goes. Here we go. These colors are beautiful. And remember the, um, the flirty flamingo is stamped off to get this color of the pink, this salmony pink. I love this. And it really accents the, um, the petal pink, I think, a whole lot. When, when it's on the card, because this is more of like a salmon color. Okay, right here. There we go, just like that. Now, and two, you only need to put the little dots on the little one because we're going to layer these in just a minute before we put them on the card. <clears throat> just cut everybody out here. Oh, look how pretty. And you can already see um, over here, look at how beautiful. I love pink and green. Um, that's another thing if you follow me, you will know I love pink and green. That was probably why too that I got, um, uh, I don't know, uh, I like this card so much, you know, got drawn to it. But look how pretty that is. And remember that flirty flamingo is stamped off. Oh, it's so beautiful. The color is just, I love it. I guess that's why I like spring so much because spring around here is all pink and green, dogwoods and everything. So right now, today it's gonna to be 72. I, uh, I thought about mowing, but honest to goodness, guys, my arm just can't handle it. I hurt my arm back in March and um, I, I, I can't, I just can't. Yes, okay, I... Uh, uh, Lynn, I didn't know, I wasn't going to say, okay. Um, so, uh, Terry is in the hospital. Lynn is also, uh, one of my downlines and, um, Terry's in the hospital and she's sick. And, uh, we mentioned it on Sunday. And if you guys could send some more prayers up, I know that, uh, we, she will appreciate it. Terry also. Yes, I, 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 I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to mention unless you mentioned. So, um, you know, you really become, uh, I don't know, you become close with your team, you know, and their lives and um, their, their partners and their, uh, you know, uh, their better halves, their pets, their, uh, you know, their everything. Uh, when you do this, I did not, I, I have to, uh, oh, that's nice, Mary, thank you. Um, the, I didn't realize when I started doing this that, uh, you know, and they always say, you know, that it's all about, uh, the friendships and the relationships that you build. It is, um, absolutely so true. Uh, you know, I, I, I hang out with you guys. <laughs> you guys are my friends. I love this. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, I have found my friendships through Stampin' Up, definitely Carrie, right? Uh, and, you know, you, uh, when he said possible cancer, okay, yeah. Yeah, I know, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so, so, you know, you get close with all your people and, um, and, uh, you know, you get into, you know, their lives and, uh, they're in mine and, you know, uh, yeah, we're just one little happy family. Hi, Mary. I know, right? We are all, it's amazing. We're all over the place. My upline is right. We are all scattered snappers. But, hi, Pauline. But um, we've come together in this little family. And um, I know, right? I do too, Robin. I hope that it's just, you know, I think, I think like everything, I, I always hope like everything. They have to tell you the absolute worst. And then when it's not, it's like, oh, it feels so good, right? So, um, yeah, they always have to prepare you, which I'm glad for that. I would not want someone to say, no, it's nothing. And then it come back as, you know. Um, but, yeah, we always hope not. Okay, let's put our little poinsettias together here. Yeah, but the relationships that I have formed with um, just absolutely wonderful friends now. I'm going to put a glue dot on all of the larger parts of the poinsettias, all three of them. I just love that color of Flirty Flamingo right there. And look at how when I put the petal pink next to it, it allows the petal pink to show up better. Now watch what I do when I put the petal pink next to the yellow. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. Okay, now alternate your petals so that you have a fuller flower. Good morning, Julie. Quickly from work to say hello. I'll catch the replay later. Share. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate you all at work. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, see, during the, you know, when we were all locked down, we were all here, you know, just doing our thing. And I just, I said, forget about it. I just stayed home. I was like, I'm not going back to work. I'm having too much fun doing this. So, so yeah, we're having a big sale. I will definitely check all the info with Stampin' Up and give you the complete lowdown on it on Sunday. Uh, are we doing anything Thursday? I have the day off. Uh, I, uh, you will get a video um, I've got on stage this week. Um, and then next Friday, we have our Zoom. And I'll be teaching a sidestep card. And I put some dimensionals on the back here. And uh, Lynn, if we'll see, I have all the measurements. I'll get the email out. I've got to do a little shopping today. Um, but I'll get the email out hopefully this evening. Um, and, you know, depending on Lynn's situation there, she does have all of her measurements and everything ready to teach her card, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to pass it all along to my team. But um, we're going to leave ourselves flexible on that for our Zoom meeting. Um, but we're going to do a sidestep. I'll do the sidestep card for sure. Okay, let's find my, of course, my flirty flamingo right here. And here we put our little, uh, our sprig. So I want to take my flower. This is so cute, right? And watch how we, watch how we're going to make this card. Kind of picture this in your head, okay? Now watch how we're going to make it come alive. Oh, these are so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So here we go. Tonight, I'll say, I, I'm excited for tonight. Um, I am doing Rhonda. Uh, you know, I do Rhonda Wade's Creating Success. I'm going to tuck that one in here so we have greenery coming out from both sides here. I'm going to put the So Saffron one right here. And I'm going to bring the Petal Pink one in up here. And I want to put this out just a little bit further here. There we go. And I'm going to bring in my, but I'm doing my very first bingo tonight at six o'clock. I've never done anything like that. I would like to do bingo um, on Zoom. Uh, I would love to, but I don't know. I always find it best to sign up and do it. And then let me see how, if I think that I can tackle it, you know, so that's why, but I'm all excited. I'm going to play bingo tonight with crafting. I've never done that before in my life. I'm, I'm excited about that. Look at our card. Hi, Anita. Thank you for joining. So pretty this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Look at how beautiful. The soft succulent. 
the um, the pear pizzazz, the flirty flamingo, petal pink, so saffron, crumb cake, and it all goes together so beautifully. Thank you, Stampin' Up. What a beautiful case, right? That is just a gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Anita. I appreciate that. But uh, oh, thank you, Lisa. So beautiful. I have to put my bling over here. Got to get these rhinestones over here. So we're gonna put um, like a medium sized one over here. Oh, I did thinking of you this festive season and together is the merriest place to be. See, you could change everything. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, your upline? Let's see, Mary says, my upline does the bingo when we have our card classes on Zoom. <gasps> Wouldn't that be fun? I'll see about that. I, you know, I'm just diving into this, so uh, I have to get, I, I have to admit, I have to get a little bit better with Zoom before I dive in and, and uh, do something like this. But, and there's our little, I don't know, dew drops, right? But yes, I'm excited about the bingo. I am so excited about that. Yeah, that's the first time I've, I'm going to be doing something like that tonight. So yeah, great time, right? Hi, Jewel. Thank you. Here is our card for today. And then here was our card yesterday. Look at how absolutely so different. I bet using little rhinestones in the middle would be cute as well. Of the poinsettias, let's do it. Let's, we always have rhinestones. Hey, the more rhinestones you could put on things, the more, the better. I'll use the little ones. Even inside of, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I love that. Oh, thank you, Robin. Look at that. Let's put more. Let's do this right here. Oh, oh, now I gotta do this one because I really like that. I love that. Thank you very much for that idea or seeing that from your end. You know, sometimes when I'm over here, I just don't, I don't see that that could enhance this even better. Look at how the little, um, the uh, crumb cake little dots come out from around it. Look how cute that is. Thank you, Robin. Oh, now that even made it cuter, right? More cute. Is cuter a word? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I am just in love with that. And then here was the one from yesterday. Absolutely two completely different looks. Two completely different looks, but I used the same set. I used our Merriest Moments. Merriest Moments hybrid. I, of course, I did not use the embossing folder with this one that we did today, but we used all the poinsettia dies. So uh, isn't just a lot to do, a lot, lot, lot to do. Now, let me show you the card for Sunday. The card for Sunday features the Eden's Garden DSP, and I used gold leafing. I used our, remember when we all got this gold leafing? I'm trying to pull things out that I know you guys have ordered from me, and you've got it on a shelf. I know you got it on the shelf. And, um, and, and I want you to use it. Look at how beautiful I tipped that evening evergreen with gold leafing, and we're gonna do that. God help me on camera, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I got I got brave when I, what did I do? Embossed resist. I got really brave with that. So, um, yeah, we're going to try this on Sunday. So that will be fun. Sunday is 7 p.m. I'm live and um, there will be a giveaway and uh, we'll just have a lot of fun. So here's our car. I know, right, Lynn? Yeah, but but it's it's a technique and it's me. So hang on. You never know. So, but we'll have fun, right? Have fun tonight and at, on stage. Oh, thank you, Carrie. I'm, I'm excited about the bingo. Never, Like I said, never done anything like that before. This is very new to me. And um, I'm, I'm excited that I'm going to be a crafter tonight. And I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, running a, a, a meeting or, you know, teaching anything or this and that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on your end. And I'm excited about that. So oh, that's great. I know, right? Pros for Lynn. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? She has a lot going on. She 
keeps up with a lot, you know. Now, like me, she's a one-man band here, you know, so for the time being. So um, we'll see how everything goes. Thank you so much, everyone. Please have a wonderful day. Go to your happy space. Do happy crafting. And um, prayers for everyone who has maybe somebody in their life that is not feeling well or, uh, you know, just is having a rough time of it. So I'll see you Sunday, 7 p.m. live on Facebook. Thanks again. Have a great day.